Hello guys and welcome to my review of the Karcher K4 Full Control Pressure Washer which I've owned for about a month and I've used quite frequently so on Saturdays and Sundays since I've had it. I also picked up some accessories, uh, namely the car shampoo bottle there, the ultra foam cleaner which has an adjustable nozzle and a nice soft brush. So the pressure washer comes with two wands. Uh, the first wand is adjustable, so you can adjust it from soft to hard and anywhere in between. And you also get an LED readout on the handle that tells you what setting you're at. And the second wand is non-adjustable and offers full pressure at all times. So just to show you the difference between these two ones, I've set up this little demonstration. These paving slabs have been down in the garden for ooh, about 15 years now and we've had a trampoline over the top of them since then. Uh, the trampoline has since gone and I've never ever cleaned these slabs since I first put them down. So I thought I'd give this pressure washer a test on the slabs themselves. So the first test is with the adjustable wand that goes adjustable from soft to hard pressure and as you can see it does remove a lot of the dirt on there but it seems to be taking a hell of a long time I'm losing a lot of pressure I think with this nozzle even though it's set to its maximum but when I put the second one on it absolutely has no problem getting these slabs back to how they were when I bought them so this this second nozzle is absolutely fantastic for outdoor work for doing your brickwork um, slabs like this and anything in between really I think anything that you want to really strip down this will do the job I thought it was important to show you this demonstration because in no way shape or form should you use this second wand on your motor vehicle you know your motorbike your car boat or anything like that um, I don't think it should go anywhere near vehicles as I'm sure it would strip the paint off no problem at all so you should be really careful where you use this but that said it's done an absolutely spectacular job of these slabs and I'm so pleased with it so I'm pleased that they included that that wand as well It's also bird friendly as well, so thumbs up for that. Okay then, so I bought the K4 pressure washer literally for cleaning my car and my motorbike and for other you know little odd jobs like the slabs. Um, so I thought I'd go through its full operation and use all the accessories I bought as well in one go so you could see exactly what this thing's capable of. So as you can see here I've got the adjustable one done and as I turn the uh, the little knob there on the handle uh, from soft to hard you can see the LED light going through its cycle so right from the lowest setting which is a mix setting if you've got shampoo in there all the way up to the hard setting which I'm using right now to blast the surface dirt off the car and the bike. There's more than enough pressure here for this job and it has no problems at all. It's also really good for the wheels, so getting into the, the little nooks and crannies in the wheels and the little nooks and crannies in the bike, it's really good for, for getting in those hard to reach places and it cleans the wheels out uh, inside the alloy on the car quite well. You can see all the black grime coming out as you, you, know, you bl blast through the holes in the wheel. Um, it's pretty fantastic to be honest, I really do like it. So here I'm going to simply twist the wand off and put on the ultra foam cleaner uh, with its adjustable head there. I'm going to put it about midway and just coat the bike and the car with the foam and then just leave it to do its job. 
So this ultra foam has uh, chemicals in it which dissolve the dirt and the grime, uh, apparently, um, on the car and the bike. So you don't want to be scrubbing with this foam. You, foam. you just want to pop it there, pop a good coating on the bike, good coating on the car. And I'm just going to leave it for a couple of minutes. Uh, the instructions say not to let this foam dry on your car. So um, make sure you, we pressure wash it off before that happens. And while I'm waiting for the foam uh, to do its job, I'm going to just quickly swap out the wand again and pop the, um, the multi-adapter on there just so I can blast the foam off. Okay, I'm also going to give this soft brush a go, which just twists on the, the trigger the same way that the ones do. Uh, and I'm also going to use some shampoo that you can buy. Uh, so with the shampoo, you just pull the top off, which is quite difficult. It does take a bit of pulling. That's why you got the fade out there. <laughs> it took me a little while. And you just put it upside down in the, um, the cutout in the top of the car chair and make sure it's pushed down. Uh, because the soft brush is on the end of here it automatically goes into mix mode so when you press the trigger it, it it doesn't spray out a lot it just sprays out just enough and mixes it with the shampoo So once that's done, I'm going to pop the wand on again and just jet off the uh, the shampoo that's now on the car. Um, just remember to take the shampoo out of the, the car chair as well, so you don't get any more shampoo coming through. Now I'm going to be totally honest, um, I didn't get on with this brush very well at all. Uh, my back did start hurting because the, the, the trigger's so short. And as you can see by the car, it, it, I've actually missed quite a lot of the car, even though I thought I'd got it all. Um, but it doesn't take off the, the strong dirt there on the bottom of the car. Um, so it may be good for doing your alloy wheels, for giving them a quick scrub in your tires, um, but certainly not for doing the whole car. Yeah, it did do my back in a little bit. Uh, you cannot beat a bucket and sponge. Um, I've yet to see any product or use any product that's any better than a sponge however if you did want to just give your car a quick whop over um, I found the the broom handle ones that look like brooms you know the soft brush on the end of a broom handle I found them quite good you can you can give your car a clean with them quite easily but as for the brush I'm not sure really where I'd get the use out of it and I'm certainly not going to use it on my motorbike the motorbike deserves um, some extra love and attention with with hands and buckets and nicer shampoo and also sponge obviously so when i received the pressure washer um, it actually came in a few bits so you do have to put the wheels on and the net at the back and a, a few little bits like that but none of it was hard at all the instructions were really really clear um, unfortunately i didn't do an unboxing video so i can't show you that um, but just trust me there it's quite easy to put together no problem at all the power cord is quite long on it and it only has an on off switch so that massive dial that's on the side of the unit is literally on or off it doesn't do anything else and putting the unit away uh, into storage afterwards is as simple as rolling the um, or coiling the the wire up and putting it in the net at the back the power cord and the the pressure hose you you sort of just coil that up as well and and wrap it over the the little hook there on the back of the unit um, it comes with a nice carry handle and the wheels are really strong and sturdy on it so they'll go over rough terrain as you're dragging it around 
So in summary then, um, I can tell you that I'm glad I bought this uh, K4. It's got just the right amount of pressure. The second one is fantastic for your slabs, as you've seen. And I've had no problems with it at all in the month that I've had it. It also has the um, usual garden hose attachment already on it. So you can just pop your, if you've got that little attachment that we all get in the UK, uh, you can just push that, that push and click sort of uh, hose end. You can push that straight onto the karcher, no problem at all. Well, I hope you like this little review. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll try and answer as many as I can. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next vid.